to be here in Uganda, in Kampala, for World Scholars Cup 2023 Kampala Round. Feels like forever to be back here in Uganda, to be back here in Kampala. Due to COVID-19, due to COVID-19, we weren't able to be here in the past couple of years, but now we are back and we are so excited to be here with over 700 students from all over the country, um, from all these different schools, scholars that are newly here, and are able to experience the World Scholars Cup for the first time and we even got a lot of returning scholars as well. So we're very excited to be here, we're very excited to be here at our host Galaxy International School and hopefully we are able to make this experience as best as possible for all the students here. This is actually the first time we've come back to Kampala since the pandemic began. Our last ever event was in March 2019. And that's a very long time that our community hasn't been able to come back here together. And in that time, we've, we've really missed each other. And I think being apart for so long has only reinforced the value of the connections that we develop here in the World Scholars Cup. And it's only reminded us that the value of a program like this, the value of a, an event that brings together so many people, so many different parts of the world and Uganda, isn't just the academics, it's not just the scores, it's not just what you learn, but it's how we bond together as people. And that's become very clear to us coming back here to Kampala. my first time taking part in the World Scholars Cup as a volunteer. We have over 700 students in school at this moment and I really love the experience because I get to work with different people, people from different continents, you know, different races. I also get to interact more with different people. I've got to meet my friends from other schools that come in to take part in the World Scholars Cup. It was really a great experience and I loved it. I would love to say this Kampala round was a very exciting one. Team debate and writing are probably my two favorite parts of the World Scholars Cup. They are two sides of the same coin. Over the past few months, the students have been going on our website. They've explored the academic material that we have, which is a very open-ended set of questions for them to look at. And throughout that time, they've developed an understanding of the issues that we're going to deal with at today's event. So today, they've done team debate, which is them going into a classroom, seeing an opponent, getting a brand new topic they've never seen before, and having 15 minutes to prepare. And it's a chance for students to think on their feet, it's a chance for them to practice their public speaking, but it's also a very unique way to test your ideas. When you explain your ideas to your friend and they just listen to it, you might feel like you understand that idea completely well, but when you debate with somebody and you see them attacking your argument and you have to defend it, that's when you realize what you do and don't understand. The debating rounds are phenomenal to me. I mean, from the word go, the competition obviously was tight, the stakes were high, but I think my team and I pulled through and we won all three debates, thankfully. Um, it was a tough day um, because you had, you had to work with the teams collectively, you had to use a synergy method of how to work with everyone. And th that, might, that might have been difficult, but at least we prevailed. So this was my first World Scholars Cup and like it's my first time doing this and I was especially excited for the debate. Uh, fortunately all the motions that I had encountered were ones that I had previously done a lot of research on so that was good. Uh, the people I was debating with were very like they were very kind and very courteous and it was really fun meeting them and I'm looking forward to winning. And I'll hopefully come back next year as well. I was actually very nervous. But when I started debating, I understand there was nothing to get nervous about. I searched about what they asked 
and found the real results. I wrote down with my teammates and answered their questions. Uh, as a result, the judge chose us and we actually won. I won two out of three debates and for the third one, we put a great effort, team effort was there. I had a lot of uh, opinions shared and a lot of uh, stuff that we talked about together and the arguments that we lead uh, to a new conclusion, a new view of the world and it's been a really great experience. I hope to come back again next year. It's been a very interesting type of debate to engage in. The format alone has been intriguing and it has pushed my understanding and created a desire in me to learn, to want to interact a lot more with students that have participated in this particular format of debate. And as a tech home, I definitely believe that this is something I'm going to be reading about, I'm going to be researching about, and I'm going to be even more interested in participating in. On the other end of the spectrum we've got collaborative writing, so teams have worked together in their teams of three, they've planned essays on various different topics. And this is a little different to team debate because you don't have just four minutes to make your case, you've got an hour to write us a piece of work, you've got the opportunity to plan very deeply and to execute that. And this is where we get students really demonstrating their creativity. Uh, you have students sometimes writing argumentative essays, sometimes they might choose to do something a little more unique, like a piece of poetry or a song that's really going to drive the idea home. But in both of these events, what students are really doing is they're trying to find their voice, whether that's through writing, whether that's through creating a piece of poetry, or whether that's through their debate speech and they're learning and practicing how to justify their own positions to the world. It was an opportunity for me to, you know, speak my mind, use words that I like to use and be creative and, you know, make jokes and make people laugh when they read about what I've written. Collaborative writing was fun. Uh, I decided to, like, put my ideas in the form of a comic. And, yeah. Bowl is a multiple choice quiz where students interact together with their teammates to figure out what the answer is like. However, it isn't a regular quiz like with school where they take an exam on a paper. No, instead they will receive a clicker um, where they can press their answers into and the questions aren't as normal. A majority of the questions will first have a video of a popular video game or a meme or any other YouTube video that we find interesting uh, to help the students connect to the question and help them to connect to all of the materials that they've learned and studied before so that they can use that knowledge to answer the question that will be on screen. When we got the answer correct in the scholars well we'd be very excited especially me I'd be very excited and when we would get it wrong we just we just sigh and then try to do better in the next question and um, generally if one team member of mine had the correct answer and we had changed it last moment we would be like oh we should have done this or we should have done that the scholars ball was fun i'm not gonna lie it was really fun i'm what though i didn't study for it i studied a few things so it was kind of a hustle guessing but the best part was like i guessed a few answers and were utterly correct which did which was really nice because i felt like i had contributed a bit to the team even though it was not that much but the contribution was valuable to me it was a very fun thing to do. Yes, there were times that I lost and gave wrong answers, but I was happy that we came with like a lot of points in the end and yeah. is not only an academic event, we also have a couple of fun activities planned throughout the two days. One of those is a talent show where students will be portraying their talents and sometimes even untalents. You will see students dance, sing, um, their heart out, play, play their favorite instruments that they've played throughout their entire life. And sometimes they will do something more quirky. 
They will do stand-up comedy or they will recite puns or poems. Sometimes it will be slightly more different than what you expect, but all of them are there to share their talent, to share what they have with the world and how excited they are to be themselves and how excited they are to get to know themselves together with all the other students. The talent show was also very good for me since I did a performance and it was well respected. Overall, the World Scholars um, Showcase was something that I really enjoyed and I really liked all of the challenges and activities that came my way because they brought out the best in me and brought new skills that I honestly want to bring out and show more in the future. <laughs> fantastic things to see here to be awarding all the students so many so many different types of medals for all of their academic achievements for the past two days they have done so well in writing in challenge in the debates and in the bowl for them to be receiving all of these different types of awards um, they've really grown within the past couple of days the Kampala round is one of our most important rounds anywhere in Africa uh, with over se nearly 700 people here. Um, this is one of the largest we do on the African continent. But it's a special round not just because it's big. You know, some other places could be big as well. But it's special because there is also an incredible caliber of scholar here. We've got schools like Galaxy, like Light International, like Aga Khan who've been part of the program for so many years. They've taken their students to compete at some of our international events, at the Global Rounds. They've represented Uganda at the Tournament of Champions at Yale University. And so what we see here today is not just a very large group of scholars, but a very large group of incredibly well-prepared scholars that are driven and they have a clear end goal. And that's part of what makes this particular event so special for all of us here today. <laughs> two trophies and qualified for the global rounds and hope to do it again next year and I hope we win in Stroud when we go to the other country. Yeah. I can't say I'm like very 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 happy for my team, my sales and my school and I'm very excited for the next round. Uh, uh, there's not much to say except uh, I'm really proud of my school especially we've taken most of the awards and uh, my neck hurts, it hurts too much from all these medals, so... much I can say, I'm very happy. I didn't expect being qualified, yeah. You see, I think I'm the worst in the team. However, my team is so good that we even became fourth in the senior division. I'm so happy to win these awards this many. And I must say, World Scholars Cup was a very big inspiration to me. Uh, the real star of the show, of course, has been Galaxy International School. Without the school, we would not have been able to pull together this event. We have nearly 700 students in participation. We are using every single piece of the school's facilities. We have every single member of the Galaxy staff on board. And I can confidently say that if we did not have the support of Galaxy, this event could not be as large or as successful as it has been today.